Good morning and welcome. I hope you enjoyed that visual overview of the incredible impact each of you have on the students, staff, and families of LA County. Before we begin, we at LACO acknowledge our presence on the traditional, ancestral, and unceded territory of the Gabrielino Tongva peoples. Related to our mission of supporting and fostering learning through the generation and dissemination of knowledge, we acknowledge that the land our LACO offices are on today is the original homeland of the Gabrielino Tongva peoples. We seek to prioritize respect for the historic culture and the contemporary presence of American Indians throughout California and especially in the greater Los Angeles area. We acknowledge the painful history of genocide and forced removal from this territory, and we honor and respect the many diverse indigenous peoples still connected to this land on which we gather. Let us take a moment to pause and honor them. With their and your permission, we'd like to continue with today's learning. I'd like to ask everyone to please join me in a moment of silence to honor the loss of over a million people to the COVID-19 pandemic, and also to the victims of the horrific shootings that have occurred in public places. Our hearts go out to the loved ones they left behind. As we move into the program, join me in acknowledging our labor partners, SEIU, LASIA, CSEA, and Alacosa. I'd also like to acknowledge and thank our leadership team, starting with the new board president, Mr. James Cross, and all of our wonderful board members. I'd also like to thank our amazing cabinet leadership team, who are all working extremely hard. I am so proud of the incredible work everyone has done this past year, especially as we are entering 
the fourth school year impacted by this pandemic. When you look back at what we've accomplished, despite incredible challenges, it truly is amazing. As we've seen, COVID is unpredictable and case counts in our community have been fluid. Yet our staff stepped up. Our school sites delivered in-person instruction during this very challenging time. And teachers did such a phenomenal job working with students, whether it was in-person or virtually. And our office staff, likewise, pivoted, developing a hybrid model that has proven to be effective. You locked arms with our healthcare heroes to assist with COVID testing and also vaccination clinics. You were there on the front lines and we commend you for stepping up. Taking what we've learned in the pandemic, we're moving forward with new visions of achievement. I hope today's theme to relax, to reconnect, allows you to recharge as we enter the new school year. Today is all about you. We wanna celebrate the past year, outline priorities for the coming year, and discuss moving forward with our strategic plan, and then give you the opportunity to gather, whether it is at a school site or the park, enjoy a meal together and participate in activities that support well-being, something we all need. We had a year like no other, didn't we? I don't think there's been another issue like the COVID-19 pandemic that so clearly and publicly demonstrated the vital and unique role of LACO. You truly met the challenge. Honestly, it was hard, both at work and at home, with our families and our loved ones. There's no other organization that can do what we have done to guide and support LA County's public education system and our 80 school districts. As we enter this new phase of the pandemic and we look around, so much has changed. Change that shows great progress. The pandemic has reinforced that access and equity must be achieved for Black, Latino, urban, rural, and low-income communities across the county. When you realize this crisis is negatively impacting children of color, children from low-income backgrounds, and students with disabilities at higher rates, it becomes even more important to maintain that priority. LACO made great strides in our efforts to close the digital divide by partnering with the county, and we're continuing to work with state and county partners to help families pay for access to internet. In the recent report published by our Greater LA Education Foundation, we have raised awareness to address the needs of multilingual students. We want educators to see these students in a different light, to see their potential and their many strengths. Greater LA Foundation also announced the Equitable Innovation Grant Program providing $75,000 toward projects, programs, and services that integrate student-centered learning, that reimagine classroom boundaries, and promote student and educator wellness. We saw just how important human connection and mental well-being are to children and to adults. So we hired a new Chief of Well-Being and Support Services, Alicia Garupa, to help LACO lead in this effort. Our EASE program expanded and now offers more mental health well being support to our students, families, and all of our employees. Last year, EASE served about 8,000 district employees and is now contracted with almost every district in the county. And our work with community schools is being recognized with an award of 17 million in state funding to continue our work with our highest need districts. We've also been asked to provide support for 15 other grantees in LA County. We developed partnerships with the departments of public health, mental health, and children and family services 
to get students and families the services they need. With safety and health among our highest priorities for our students and staff, we took on even more responsibilities than we had ever done before in supporting public health. We made more than $230 million in federal funding available for LA County districts and schools to implement COVID-19 testing programs. They averaged 600,000 tests per week and 22 million total tests over the school year. We supported the ordering and distribution of millions of pieces of PPE. And our partnerships help schools host more than 7,000 vaccination clinics for students, families, and community members. I, along with so many of our staff, have worked really closely with Dr. Eduardo, the entire LACO team, the district superintendents and their teams to make sure that we're supporting uh, the goal of creating environments where all children thrive. And, and Dr. Eduardo has been the leader on bringing us together so that we can go ahead and, and bring our resources and our skills to bear on creating these amazing environments that are enriched, that are nourishing, uh, that have at the center the needs of children. Um, and, uh, you know, this partnership goes way back and I know will continue way into the future. My heartfelt thanks to Dr. Ferrer and her team at the LA County Department of Public Health for the dedication they've demonstrated to keeping all of us healthy in this unprecedented pandemic. COVID mitigation efforts were just one of the many ways we supported schools. In July, we concluded the Best Advantage System financial implementation with 58 districts and agencies. Through a close collaboration between tech services, school financial services, and CGI consulting, a total of 132 districts and agencies were implemented in the past five years. And we had over 5,000 end users complete an average of two to three training sessions. Way to go. The Accounting and Budget Development Division also had a successful first year in Best Fin and ensured the optimal fiscal health of our programs and operations. Business Advisory Services worked closely with over 100 LEAs to manage their budgets and COVID grants. They also conducted 16 public hearings to convert districts to trustee area voting. The controller's office, mail services, warehouse, and surplus staff worked throughout the pandemic to distribute PPE to 80 school districts. The facilities team has been hard at work to ensure health and safety through cleaning and disinfecting of schools and administrative offices. We are committed to improvements and renovation of facilities. In the past year, ECW and EC Annex have a new cool roof, which keeps us cool in the summer and warmer in the winter. EC, EC Annex, and ECW have new exterior paint. EC has new cooling towers. We also receive new HVAC equipment to continue indoor air quality improvements. I'm also proud of our green initiatives. This spring, we held our first virtual green symposium to address climate change in our schools. This is another example of where black and brown communities are more impacted by climate change. We know schools contribute to the climate crisis. We can reduce our carbon footprint, take instruction outside, and enhance student achievement. Thanks to our great public affairs and communications team, we maintained regular two-way communication with the county's 80 school districts charters and privates to provide consistent information in a time of unprecedented change. Our Office of General Counsel also held an enormous role throughout the pandemic, ensuring we protect employees and keep students safe at LACO, 
Inglewood Unified, and all of our 80 school districts. Speaking of Inglewood Unified, I want to commend all the LACO staff and district staff who have worked tirelessly to support the students, families, and employees. Inglewood Unified is the district on the rise. We found creative ways during the 2021-22 academic year to support learning in Inglewood Unified and across the 80 districts through professional development, Curriculum and Instruction Services hosted 352 professional development sessions for more than 23,700 participants. They also provided 4,700 consultation hours to support LEAs across the county and the state. Human Resource Services hosted the first ever countywide virtual job fair where over 400 participants logged into the event and visited booths of our county districts over 5,000 times. The unit hosted LACO's first hybrid services award ceremony, which was live streamed from in-person outdoor ceremony. Yes, we honored the contributions of 84 retirees and 228 employees for milestone years of service. They also launched LACO Pathways, a professional growth program which provided all participating employees with the opportunity to build their capacity, develop leadership aptitudes, and enhance knowledge and skills for career development opportunities. The Personnel Commission has been working hard to expedite the hiring process at LACO. Last year, they reviewed over 7,200 applications and filled 258 permanent classified vacancies. Governmental Relations partnered with our Personnel Commission, other Personnel Commissions, school and community college districts across the state, and statewide education associations to advocate for legislation to modernize the merit system so that it will be more efficient equitable and sustainable. Head Start and the Early Learning Division supported our 80 districts and charters by planning a mixed service delivery, universal pre-K system that gives parents the option of a transitional kindergarten, Head Start, state preschool, and more. We gave families even more help by joining our federal and state partners in expanding access to Head Start. Now, parents enjoy seamless registration for Head Start if their children already receive SNAP benefits. And as these students grow, we must help them reach their potential, which means standing up to inequities. I'm so proud of the work we are doing on behalf of our students in foster programs. The Foster Youth Services Coordinating Program collaborated with DCFS, probation, LEAs, and community-based organizations like John Burton Advocates for Youth to support 65% of LA County high school seniors residing in foster care to help them complete their FAFSA and California Dream Act student aid applications. This will provide even more support for these students who want to go to college. Our Immigrant Relations Office has worked with federal and state partners to ensure our schools are welcoming refugee students. While our Charter School Office has helped support the 8,137 students served by our board authorized charter schools. I met throughout the year with our Student Advisory Council and I can tell you they were amazing you would be proud of the dialogue that they engaged in with me and LACO leaders about what they want to see at their districts. When I saw that, you know, Superintendent Duardo was super dedicated to really hearing our voices and serving us as students, I also wanted to do the same for my community and my school as well. We were able to get a gender neutral bathroom within my school after I and a couple of other students 
who were um, really passionate about the issue and saw the need. It's empowering to see how much Dr. Duardo and her team truly, truly cared about what we as students think and how actions implemented at the administrator level could potentially affect us at the student level. I saw like the council's voice starting to get voiced throughout certain things that Lego was doing and that honestly made me feel very proud. The whole point of school is to have teamwork between administration and students working towards a common goal of making the school the best environment possible for learning of all kinds. Um, we want to make sure we can do that to the best of our ability. So if something is working well and if something is not working well, we would love the opportunity to share that with you and make a certain program better and better for future generations to come. IPOLY continues to prepare its students for career and college readiness. 94.3% of the 2022 grads are matriculating to higher education, and 75% of the current senior class have already completed a college course before graduation in June 2023. Administrators are focused on their goal of having 100% of graduating seniors to have completed at least one college course through the Mount SAC Dual Enrollment Program and Young Scholars Program. How about a round of applause for the international media attention LOXA students received for their video compilation that aired during a promotion for Hamilton producer Lin-Manuel Miranda's latest film, LOXA student population increased last year, which included a higher number of Latino and African American students. The school received $14.6 million in scholarships, and 94% of the grads are college or career bound. We're also extremely proud of the At Promise and County Community School students who joined the graduating class of 2022. For many, this was a journey of reconnecting with education and embracing bright futures ahead. LACO's Teacher of the Year, Deshaun Banks, has dedicated more than 10 years providing excellent instruction at the camps and halls. We also support adult learners. Our GAIN program, Greater Avenue for Independence, continues to lead LA County by serving the area's welfare to work population. We assisted over 170 students with attaining their high school equivalency certificates and diplomas, and we continue to provide innovative pre-employment training seminars. Through our stellar short-term training program, our GAIN clients have also completed training programs to prepare them to become certified nursing assistants, child care providers, security officers, truck drivers, and machinists to name just a few. We continue to celebrate our excellent staff, and this year we launched a new feature on LACO's homepage called Honoring LACO Staff. It recognizes the phenomenal effort and work of certificated and classified and administrative staff and their positive impact on our students. We originally planned for it to run in May during the designated state and national recognition of celebrating educators. But we felt so strongly about LACO's phenomenal staff, we decided to keep it going. We will continue to highlight our amazing staff throughout the year. As you've seen, we had a very productive year despite having to find creative ways of doing things during a pandemic. We should be very proud of what we've accomplished. None of this work and impact could be possible without all of you. You are the heart of LACO. We recognize that it has not been easy to work remotely, to support students, staff, and families during an incredibly difficult time, all while balancing your own personal life and losses that you've experienced during the pandemic. Know that we appreciate your hard work, your commitment, and your resilience. Moving forward, our priority is to support our 80 districts and LACO schools in ensuring student learning continues and our staff and students are physically and mentally healthy. 
For many of our students, school is more than a place of learning. It's a place that supports their physical, social, and emotional needs. We want to take what we learned from the pandemic and use that knowledge to transform and implement real change. We have a new normal developing. As we focus on our priorities, it's important that we understand the importance of teamwork, that we understand each individual's work impacts the whole organization, and most important, that we understand our why. Why do we have these priorities? Why are we pushing forward in the face of so many challenges? Because the work we do at LACO sets the nearly two million children in our schools on a path. That path should and must lead to academic success. They come to us with all of their energy and enthusiasm to learn, like these little ones. What makes you happy at school, Justine? I love my teachers and my friends. Reading books. What's your favorite thing at school, Jake? Jake. <laughs> I like doing art. Thank you. Thank you. Should we paint, paint, paint? Yes. What should we paint? A shirt. What else? A rainbow. Show us the color for the rainbow. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. What's your favorite animal? A shark, a pig. Now what sound do they make? Boink, boink. Dogs. You have dogs? How many dogs? Five. Five dogs? No, 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 three. You want to show me or tell me something that you learned? My numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Do you want to tell us the colors? Blue. Good. And what's this? Green. What do you want to be when you grow up, Justine? A police and a doctor and a nurse. An astronaut. And why do you want to be an astronaut? I want to go out of space. I want to be a shark. Why do you want to be a shark? Because I want to eat pe fish. Their special little perspectives remind us that we have a big job to do. It is up to us to make sure that all of our students in LA County are given the tools they need to learn, excel, and thrive. We've accomplished a lot, and we're looking forward to more growth and success. I'm pleased to present to you goals for our strategic plan that will go through June 2025 and guide our work in the coming year. Over the past several months, we've been working really hard on our strategic plan. We've done some intentional planning using data to support student-centered analysis. We met with cabinet members who in turn engaged their division staff for input on the goals. The strategic plan has five pillars that each have a SMARTY goal. Many of you are familiar with SMART goals. A SMARTY goal adds I and E to be more inclusive and equitable. SMARTY goal stands for strategic, measurable, attainable, relevant, time-bound, inclusive, and equitable. They are perfectly aligned with our mission statement, improving the lives of students and our educational community through service, leadership, and advocacy. It aligns with our vision statement, a culture of excellence in all we do, and our values, equity, integrity and respect, collaboration, open communication, and responsiveness. We developed five SMARTY goals designed to one, improve student outcomes in literacy, numeracy, 
and in our justice-impacted youth programs. Two, champion individual and collective care and well-being. Three, strengthen community with children at the center. Children are the priority at LACO and in LA County. We're all working together to support them. Four, communicate effectively. We're going to focus on ensuring that we have systems in place and that we are very clear on how we communicate effectively throughout the organization. And finally, five, we intend to model organizational excellence and innovation using data to ensure customer satisfaction throughout our organization. That has been a core part of our mission, making sure we're providing excellent customer service. We will be sharing a survey with you to get your initial reaction about our goals. We also have posters at the Wellbeing Fest and we'll send out an email follow-up. We really want to hear from you. As we close, I want you to be aware of your health, your wellness and well-being. And remember that LACO is here to support you. Our ease counselors are ready to help. We want you to take care of yourself so you can be the best you can be for others. Take your own mental health temperature. How am I doing? Am I eating and sleeping well? What do I need to stay connected? You also need to ask for help when you need it. And it helps to always look for the positive. Express appreciation, gratitude, and celebrate triumphs, no matter how small. If you see something good, speak up, share the joy. This is why we're having our all staff event. We are reconnecting to celebrate our accomplishments that impact so many young lives. We're recharging our minds and spirits with a sense of purpose. We're reminding ourselves that our work has become even more important during this pandemic. Thank you, everyone, for all that you're doing. I especially want to thank everyone who worked so hard to put together this presentation and also the lunch event we know you are certain to enjoy. Thank you also to the Greater LA Foundation and the California Credit Union. For those of you who can join us, we hope to see you at LACO's Wellbeing Fest, where we want you to relax, recharge, and reconnect. We have food, games, and raffle prizes for you to enjoy during lunch at the Discovery Sports Complex next to Kaiser. Come on out, have lunch, and reconnect with your LACO family. I'll see you there. Thank you.